the good news, all your favorite family members and friends have accepted your invitation to join you for a celebration this festive season. And those that you secretly hoped wouldn't make it all have direct clashes. The not so good news is that you can't think what to cook. Cheer up, because help is at hand, as Yudhika presents the ultimate holiday centerpiece. For the last feast of the year, on the menu we have crown roast of lamb, curried baked potatoes. We also have a pea and asparagus palau, and for dessert, a white chocolate and orange cake. I've got four potatoes here, and I've seasoned this with salt and black pepper. There's a generous glug of olive oil that's gone in here as well. Now use a knife and just prick these potatoes, and this is so they don't explode in the oven. Place the potatoes into an oven-proof dish. I've got a little olive oil left in the mixing bowl and just drizzle that over the potato. I've got the oven preheated at 170 degrees Celsius. I'm going to bake these for about an hour. For the white chocolate and orange cake, I've heated some milk over a gentle heat. Add butter and just gently swirl that about. Now don't heat the milk and bring it to the boil. Just slightly warm will do. We've also got six eggs in the mixing bowl. We're gonna whip the eggs until they triple in volume. The eggs are light and fluffy, they're creamy in colour. Gradually add the sugar. Keep the mixer going on a low speed until the sugar dissolves. The mixture does go a shade or two lighter in colour. That looks perfect. To fold in, we've got vanilla essence, orange zest, just a bit will do and gently fold that in. The secret of success to making this cake is to make sure that sugar does dissolve. A touch of salt, baking powder. The flour always goes in before the liquid and the buttery milk mixture should have cooled down by now. Half the liquid going in. Give it a few seconds, the flour starts to absorb the milk and everything comes together beautifully. Remaining flour going in, once again fold. The last of the liquid going in, I can see those little flecks of orange and once the cake bakes off it almost bursts with that citrusy flavor you can double or triple this recipe if you like if you want a larger cake but i know from hosting my dinner parties that a little cake and if it's decadent goes a long way this goes into a preheated oven 170 degrees celsius for 30 minutes while that's in the oven i'm going to start with a curry cream sauce for those baked potatoes first ingredient sunflower oil some crushed garlic Stir that through, you can see the garlic browns quite quickly. A sprinkle of crispy brown onions, stir that through. And now red chilli powder. Work that through for about three seconds and pour in the cream. There's the aroma of garlic, cream and brown onion in here. Hint of garam masala, coriander and cumin. Let's get the potatoes out the oven. These potatoes are really hot. So take care when you're working with them. I'm going to slice this in halves. It's important to pour this curry cream sauce over the potatoes while the potatoes are piping hot so they absorb all the creamy goodness. Fresh coriander going over. While the potatoes are soaking up the delicious cream sauce, I'm going to get started on the crown roast of lamb. We've got two racks of lamb that have been French trimmed. For the marinade, I'm going to start out by using a mortar and a pestle and we've got some garlic cloves going in. The more you pound the garlic, the more intense the flavour and aroma becomes. Scoop the garlic into a little bowl. Add some olive oil. It's important to use a good quality oil for this. Some thyme. Dried oregano. A few sprigs of rosemary. Mix that in. To season the crown roast, we've got some salt and pepper. Pepper going over as well spoon some of that marinade over the lamb. There's no other way to do this. You're just going to have to use your fingers and rub that in. Now I'm going to use a bundt pan and gently lift the roast off the plate and pop it into the bundt tin. And this is so the crown roast retains its shape and it also cooks evenly. Next step, piece of foil. This goes into a really hot oven so we don't want the bones to burn. This goes into a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. And the potatoes go in as well. For the pilau rice, I'm starting out by heating the pan. 
some sunflower oil going in, cumin seeds, a little pinch. Fry those seeds for a few seconds. Add the rice. I'm adding some fresh thyme. Once the thyme hits the hot pan, it starts to splatter and it releases a beautiful aroma. Pour in boiled water. Add a teaspoon of coarse salt. Simmer that down. We're using baby asparagus and frozen peas for this recipe, which just take about a minute or two to cook. We're going to add that just before serving. Now cover the pan with a tight-fitting lid. Lower the heat and leave that to simmer. And while that's cooking, I'm going to finish up on the cake. I've got these two cakes here that have been baked off. I've left them to cool in the tin and in the meanwhile I've coated these cakes with a layer of orange buttercream and that's just to prevent the cakes from drying out. I've got a straw and I'm going to pop that into the center of the cake. Use a pair of scissors just to snip that and press that in again and another one. That's going to support the top tier. We need a touch of buttercream now. That's the glue that's going to hold the two tiers together. Lift up the second layer and position that over. There's always a gap between the layers. Use a bit of buttercream and smooth that over. To top the cake, I've got some white chocolate melted with fresh cream, and you're going to pour that over the cake. Gently work that over the sides. We want a little drip going down. And while it's setting, let's finish up the pilau. Let's have a look. It's steamed up beautifully. The asparagus goes in, lay that on top of the rice, frozen peas going over, cover the pan, let's get the lamb out the oven. This does look a lot like an ice cream cake. I've got a piping bag here filled with fresh cream that's been whipped with vanilla and icing sugar, a few little bubbles of cream going on this cake. Whether you're an adult or a child, there's nothing as festive as sprinkles on a cake. Some gold sprinkles egg on top. Stars add some festive cheer to this cake. I've got some strawberries now, just arrange them on top of the cream. And that's our cake done. I did say this was going to be an impressive feast. The crown roast was a deliberate choice because we all are kings and queens princes and princesses as we round off the year. To go with the crown roast, we've got curried baked potatoes, a pilau with asparagus and peas, and for dessert, the decadent orange white chocolate cake topped with fresh cream and strawberries. I'd like to wish all of you a happy new year with much joy, love and prosperity.